How are you guys doing? It is December. That's right. Well, obviously I'm someplace warm. This is Tampa, Florida. Ruskin to be precise. I'm done cruising for the year, as you probably know. And that's my destination. The mangrove tunnel. I'm going to take you guys with me. It'll be a nice escape from uh, the everyday. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. I think these places are special because you can only get there by kayak. And inside this tunnel, I would find not only peace and solitude, but bait to use for fishing and laughing birds. Ibis. I think something's funny, I guess. This kayak, despite having a foot-powered propulsion system, was still able to ride right over logs that were just under the surface. It's one of the reasons I really like it. Don't try that with the propeller drive, people. That ain't gonna work. The high drive, despite how shallow it was, enabled me to navigate easily through this narrow corridor. Which is good, because there wasn't enough space really for a full paddle. The only concern really was the space above the water. Ooh. Low bridge. Watch your head. Meantime, I kept my eyes open for the creepy crawly fish bait that was up in the trees. Oof, you a big one. Those are mangrove tree crabs. And around here, they make really good bait for sheep's head and snapper and snook and redfish. Oh my. <laughs> Luckily, they don't really fish. Gotcha. That is superb bait. Well, I just drifted through those trees. Found an old two liter bottle and uh, using my trusty knife, I cut the top of the, the bottle off and it makes a really cool place to store crabs. You see them all in there? When you catch one in the tree, you just plop it in there and they go down the funnel and uh, they'll stay there until you uh, need them. Then you just pop the top off and you reach in and grab one. So I switched to a one-aught circle hook. I'm going to go up around the corner and see if we can catch a sheep's head. As I paddle along the flats here, I'm noticing a muddy bottom and not too many fish. As I get towards the spot up ahead that I know has oysters and barnacles and stuff like that on the bottom, there's always more fish. Sheep said especially like that kind of bottom, so that's where I'm gonna fish, this cut right ahead of me. It's shallow, but there's also a lot of fish, and I'm starting to see barnacles on the bottom. See it? How nice is that? These are the types of places people like that like to get to, but they can't. <laughs> That's why kayaks are great, because they can get to places that even the shallowest draft boats can't make it to. Sometimes that's where dinner is located. That's just a bare hook, no weight, very light leader. Sheep said are pretty smart, and they got little mouths. They didn't want to see all that tackle. It's 
simpler you keep it, the more fish you're going to catch, in my opinion. The hypocrisy of that statement is the fact that I had a foot-powered kayak. Any paddlecraft could have gotten you to this spot. However, the tide really was ripping here. So instead of bringing an anchor, I had the high drive. And by picking it up and turning it backwards, I was able to hold myself against the current while still being able to look forward to where I was fishing. Because the current was going away from me. I also wanted the camera to be able to see what was going on. So without the gear of an anchor, I simplified it by having foot power. Of course, none of that really mattered unless a fish came along. And then, right on cue. <laughs> there you go. Still on you. <laughs> At this point, I figured I had a catfish on because that was just too easy to come out of here for a sheep's head and immediately hook one. <laughs> but how about that? It was a sheep's head. Jeez Louise. Look at that, huh? Hello, sheepies. <sighs> Is he keeper size? He's maybe big enough, but uh, I, I doubt it. So we'll let him go out there and get bigger. That's all fine and good, though, because it didn't take too long before I was on to another one. Oh, yeah. Well, this one feels a little bit better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. This one's dinner size. <laughs> this fish was a lot stronger than the last one and started pulling me sideways. And the high drive works better when you're going forward, so it was time to switch that back. Yeah, he's got me. Good fight for a sheepy. I think a net in this situation would really come in handy but I didn't really plan on catching any fish to keep this day, which is why I resorted to using the two liter bottle as a place to keep my crabs. And it took me a while to figure out how I was gonna get this guy home. That's about a 16 inch sheep's head. Pretty sweet. Perfect eating size. One last thing that I wanted to impart on you guys is uh, a saying that I live by. I got crabs just now. I, I found a spot where I thought they'd be sheep said they were. I could continue to pluck them out of the water over there. Maybe until I get my limit. But one sheep said it's more than enough for me. And if anybody else wants more fish, they can get their butt out there and get it themselves. <laughs> so that's why I believe that you should limit your catch and not catch your limit. It's good philosophy. It ensures that there'll be more fish around next time you come out here. That being said, it's now time to eat fish.